August 23rd. Prayer. Battle in the secret place. When you pray, go into your room, and when you have shut your door, pray to your father who is in the secret place, and your father who sees in secret will reward you openly. Matthew 6, verse 6. Jesus did not say, dream about your father who is in the secret place, but he said, pray to your father who is in the secret place. Prayer is an effort of the will. After we have entered our secret place and shut the door, the most difficult thing to do is pray. We cannot seem to get our minds into good working order. The first thing we have to do is fight the wandering thoughts. The great battle in private prayer is overcoming this problem of our idle and wandering thinking. We have to learn to discipline our minds and concentrate on willful, deliberate prayer. We must have a specially selected place for prayer. But once we get there, this plague of wandering thoughts begins. As we begin to think to ourselves, this needs to be done and I have to do that today, Jesus says to shut your door. Having a secret stillness before God means deliberately shutting the door on our emotions and remembering Him. God is in secret, and He sees us from the secret place. He does not see us as other people do, or as we see ourselves. When we truly live in the secret place, it becomes impossible for us to doubt God. We become much more sure of Him than of anyone or anything else. Enter into the secret place, and you will find that God was right in the middle of your everyday circumstances all the time. Get into the habit of dealing with God about everything. Unless you learn to open the door of your life completely and let God in from your first waking moment of each new day, you will be working on the wrong level throughout the day. But if you will swing the door of your life fully open and pray to your Father who is in the secret place, every public thing in your life will be marked with a lasting imprint of the presence of God.